Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Transport Fever. And now after the last few videos, we've gained quite a bit of momentum. And by momentum, I mean we're sitting right at $6.5 million with no loan outstanding. So no debt. And I think we're close enough to the year 1900 that I think we're ready to get started with some railways. And as I looked around, there's a couple of places that make sense for us to do this, but I think the best area to get started is over here with our food because we've got right at 100 of each of these setting ready to go. And right now we just don't have the capacity over the road to make this happen. So we need something that goes faster to be more efficient, and I think the railway is our answer there. So let's go ahead and put down um, a station. So we're going to want to do freight, of course, and I'm going to try to get through here removing as few of these fields as I possibly can. So rather than just sort of cutting straight across, I'm going to try to go like right through here. And then before I forget, let's go ahead and connect our intersection here. So we'll have a connection to the roadway and then a connection to uh, our farm. All right, so now uh, we need to come through here. Now this first little bit is gonna be a little bit touch and go. And I'm gonna try to not have to do any more terrain uh, deforming as I have to. And so far, so good. We're gonna try to follow along with the road um, as best we can. And we're going to try to get that speed up to 120. There we go. Get it up there and keep it up there as much as we possibly can. We'll do some short sections of road. And, oh wow, I don't like those numbers were going... Okay, that's going to slow us down a little bit, but we'll take that. It's not a huge deal, at least I don't think it is anyway. All right, so we're cutting into the road, or excuse me, the, the land a little bit now. Okay, there we go. So far, so good. So we need to go all the way down into this area, but this is going to be quite a task because I believe our terrain is about to betray us. All right, let's try to get, how does this look? Okay, we definitely don't want to do that because that's going to really cut in. Okay, this is our best bet, I think. It keeps our speed up. And let's see, can we get down through? Oh, wow, how is that going to work? So we got to go up and across the road there. Okay, yeah, you can see the road is already raised up a little bit. So how far can we push this? And can we get down any? Wow, not much. Okay, I guess we'll take it. Yeah, it evens out with the road, or at least kind of evens out. All right, now we need to get back on the path here. Can we get back on the path is the question. Yeah, we're gonna, we have to go a little bit slower. Um, okay, that's not bad through there. Okay, we can't go down any lower. So we're still raised a little bit. And I don't want to be raised any at all if we can help it. Oh, wow. That's really raised up. Because I got to think about where our station is going to go. Okay. So far, so good. All right, let's go ahead and put down this station. Or at least we're going to hopefully put down a station. All right, so if we go. Wow, we're way off with that. Uh, what if I come down here? I wonder if I can do that. What if I go right about there? So we're just sort of taking a chance here, winging it, and seeing what we can 
what we can do. Will that work? Can we even connect these as it is now? Oh, we can. Okay, so the speed isn't great, uh, but we're connected. Okay, not great, not terrible. We're going back to Chernobyl here. Not great. All right, not bad. All right, it's time to set up our depot. We'll just go ahead and put it right here on the end. Again, we're doing all sorts of terrain deforming. And okay, make sure it's it's connected to the network. Okay, thank you very much because I definitely forgot to do that. So I appreciate the game reminding me of that. So let's go ahead and create our intersection. Uh, right about there, I think, is perfect. Doesn't look pretty, but I think it's going to get the job done uh, quite nicely. All right, so here is our line. So we're going to go from up here at the farm to down here with uh, the processing. And we'll call this one Train Food 1 to offset the food one we've already got on the road. And we can always filter these down a little bit more. In fact, let's go ahead and do that to get started. So right now we just have an A to B. There's no no completed line in a, you know, in a circle and that kind of thing. All right, but we're going to try to take some of this away and let's see, buy some trains. We're getting very close to the year 1900. So locomotives of course, we're not far enough along to get into electric or diesel just yet. So it looks like we're going to do the 260 Mogul. Unfortunately, I don't know how much it can haul, how many of the wagons. So we're just going to have to wing it and guess. So let's go ahead and purchase that for just under a million dollars. Thankfully, right now, we've still got some money. Then let's go to freight wagons. And so we're dealing with grain, livestock, and food. I see grain right here, and we can carry a capacity of seven. Okay, lifespan of 40 years, so that's a good long time for us. And so let's go two, three, four. Let's just do five. Why not? I have no idea how this is going to work. Uh, we know we don't need the tank. That's for liquids. Uh, yes, here we go. Food and livestock both on the box car. So let's do five of those. So that gives us a, a max capacity of 35 of each. I like that idea. Let's do that. Okay, we're spending some money here, but I think that's going to be good to go. And in fact, let's go ahead and just clone this so we can go ahead and have two. But before we set these guys up and rolling... Uh, oh, wow, we've spent tons of money. But hopefully, it's about to pay off. Uh, but you never know. All right, we need to put down a little bit more tracks because if we're going to do two, then we're going to need an area where they can cross over. Uh, let's see. We're just going to spend all kinds of money here. We'll go down through there and yeah let's go a little bit further okay then we need to connect these guys up and we need a signal all right so this signal will be on what is now the left hand side so we'll put it there and we'll get back to our train tracks here and we'll get back up here to this end. And nope, we want to come from this direction and connect it up. Try to make that as smooth as possible. So then we want, we'll put it right about there. So that'll give us a two-way area and plenty of room for these trains to cross over. And hopefully they will continue moving at uh, a pretty good clip. So we're out of money, so we really need this to be profitable as soon as possible. But of course, what fun is it if, uh, let's see, we don't need, we don't want to do both of them right now. 
What fun is it if we're not pressing the issue here? So let's go ahead and let this guy get started. And okay, here at our station, we've already got a few cows, not many. Okay, so he'll pick those up. So he'll have a little bit of income when he reaches uh, his first drop off. But oh yeah, now we see it coming in. If we zoom in a little bit more, you can see the icon. So we're at 9 and 12, 10 and 12. Yeah, there we go. So train two is really going to start to make some money because it's going to have a nice load uh, to carry. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. And then it will simply, if I've done my signals correctly, then we should be good. There goes train number one. And let's see, let's pull each of these up. So there's train two. And then train one, and we'll just sort of keep track of what these guys have. All right, so we've got a little bit of coal that we have to have just to operate the train itself. All right, so we want to keep a close eye out for... Uh, both of them are moving right now, so that's a good sign. We're either about to have a huge crash or we've got our signals about right. All right, here comes the first train. Train two stops at the signal as planned. Thank you very much for doing that. Okay, our money is recovering. That's good, because <laughs> we definitely need that. I think long-term, this train route is going to be a huge money maker, but we just got to get it going. All right, so train one is empty on the return trip. I'm hoping that that does not continue. I'm hoping to pick up some food from there as we continue uh, to push the production here. We want upgrades in both of these areas, both on the processing side as well as uh, on the, uh, the grain and the livestock side. All right, so we want to zoom in here on this train because we want to see what train two is going to get for income as he comes down to make his first delivery. You can see he's not quite full. 535,000, oh, that is awesome. Doesn't quite get us back to the positive yet. Uh, but what we did do is we dropped off quite a bit. Yeah, so production should be able to increase now. Okay, so we'll, we'll let them take care of that and we're gonna hope to see some food drop in here. Okay, here comes train two, and train one is where? Here he comes. So he's not going to have to be stopped for very long. Okay, probably could have stood to bring this, this track, this additional track down a little bit further, but uh, overall, I think we're okay. Let's see what train one's got on board. He is basically full for the most part. All right, what do we have? New vehicles. We've got the Mac. I believe that's a passenger car. And then we've got a six-axle axle, uh, passenger car there. Okay, so we'll have to look at the Mac and see how it's going to do and if we want to use it to replace our uh, wagons that we have operating within the cities. But right now, really what I care about is how much money we're going to get from train one. 686,000. So that looks like the the key number. You can see it puts us just back into the positive. And I think that should continue on. But again, I'm really focused. We want to make money two ways. So I really want to see food start to drop in here. Okay, in the meanwhile, train two is on his way, basically full. Oh, wow, you can see the food starting to pile up. Uh, that's good. That's what we want. Oh, there we go. So this is going to force an upgrade. So one more month if we get get that production still up there, which I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. And there we go. There's our upgrade. The limit is now 200. And you can see we're already moving right along. Okay, good. That's what we want to see. Let's head back up here. And... 
All right, where is our nearest train? Here he comes. So I'm watching the exchange here just to see how much we've got waiting on us. Uh, I, I want to see this continue to fill up as much as we possibly can. Okay, so he's full on grain this time, not quite as much on livestock. But we're going to let this thing play out a little bit. Uh, because, I mean, our money has bounced back nicely. We're almost at two and a half million now. Uh, we're looking good on our profitability. Again, you, you can see that this is going to be a very dynamic number. But I think this number is really going to take off when we can finally get some food that drops over here into uh, this train area. Wow, 68 that is huge. Well, we should definitely be making some money on this side of things with our road vehicles. But actually, I'm not quite sure. Okay, wow. We have already maxed out production. It's got to start sending some over here. Surely. But as of yet, it has not sent any that I have seen. But with a production level of 200, the product stored is 58. So why is it not using this one? I'm, actually, I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. All right, so we're going to continue to give it a little bit of time. Maybe it just takes the game some time to start using both of these, but... I mean, it is loading up this one depot and not using this one. What if I... Can I do this? Maybe if I connect those up directly, maybe some of that will flow over to here. I don't know. You wouldn't think it would work that way, but we'll give it a little time. Uh, in the meanwhile, here we see train two is on his way. And let's see, where is, there we go, there's train one that is about to reach. There we go. Now train two, who is fully loaded right now. All right, he's headed back down. Let's see, what do we have stored? Okay, a little bit stored there. Let's see what happens to our production once train two gets down here and drops off. All right, here he comes. So we're still profitable and our money's growing. We're at 2.65. We just made almost a million dollars with that drop off. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. In the meantime, they just keep flooding the food over there that is that is baffling me right now I'm not sure what what is causing that I mean we're connected everything looks to be good I'm not sure why we're getting no food because if we could get that food over here then our profits would explode but for now you know we'll just keep looking at it and and we might be able to make some changes. Now, long term, I'm not estimating that we're going to be using this road route long term. I would imagine that it's going to be much more cost effective and efficient to use these rail networks long term. Uh, but we'll have to see how the technology goes. Right now, I am just really not sure why they continue to use instead of sending the food over there. Uh, what kind of... Yeah, their storage is really... I mean, you can see 58 is stored right here. Why don't they just send that out? And, oh, look at that. We've got a new train available as well as a new boxcar. Okay, meantime, our money continues to grow. We're at 4.2 million now, even despite my complete confusion as to what's going on down here. All right, let's head back up here. 
So as we continue to expand our train network, uh, this is just looking better and better. I mean, look at the, the grain that is piling up in here. 74 grain, 18 on the livestock side of things. But we're running full loads, at least in one direction. And I'm hoping long term we can get that going in both directions. But money looks good. Uh, you can see the cargo sitting out here. That is just awesome. All right, let's go ahead and hop on board with train number two as he brings. All right, you guys better hurry up if you're good to cross. There we go. We don't want any dead horses. Just look at the height that we have on this. I mean, that is a huge elevation change for this train. Certainly when you're going uphill with it. All right, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. He picked up. All right, I have to exit out now because I have to see what he picked up. He picked up food. Yes, he did. I am a happy man right now. Yes, now it's starting to pile up in here. I guess after 118, it finally decided to use a different route. There we go. All right, so let's get back to train two and hop on board. So now he's going uphill, so this is no good as far as his speed goes. But now we get to see what this game is really all about. This is when you start to bring different types of transportation together, then the visuals really come to life. It's going to be interesting to see what Transport Fever 2 brings us as far as graphical upgrades. It's a bit of a scary sight right there as you're headed uphill and you're looking directly at another train. And you're just hoping that he's on the same plan as you. But I'm liking this. There you can see some of our first uh, coal-powered... I believe those are coal power, maybe steam trolleys. I forget exactly how they're powered, maybe steam. But you can see them there on the road. And here we come with a head of steam into the station. Oh, that is awesome. We're going to get another full load, I would imagine. You can see the resources just piling up there. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see our, our live speed. Uh, it's not terribly high when we get started, but once we get onto either level ground or downhill, it really starts to pick up. Yeah, there we go. And as, and as time continues on and we get more powerful locomotives, uh, we'll be in good shape. In fact, that brings me to something that I meant to look at a few moments ago. And that is, let's come back up here to the train depot. And let's go under buy trains. So once again, let's see, no electric or diesel yet. Here's our 442 Atlantic. And let's look at the difference between it and our current train setup. So top speed, 100 kilometers per hour, as opposed to 75. Of course, running costs are going to be more expensive. Same lifespan, 40 years. Loading speed, the same uh, power. Oh, wow nearly twice the power in this one. So we're really going to be able to load this one up with more capacity. Okay, I like that. Uh, so that means if we had just waited a little bit longer before we set this up, uh, we would have been able to choose that as our beginning trains. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that. That is certainly not the end of the world. All right, there you can see train two. So we've got food is nearly a full load that we're picking up each time now. All right, so we need to come back out and we need to look at our line. Uh, only showing the rails right now. So we want to set up our replacement. Now, unfortunately, it may be that by the time we're ready, you know, because we got a 40-year lifespan on our uh, trains right now, it may be that we're ready for something else uh, that is unlocked for us before we get to a replacement time. But we're going to go ahead and add this as our replacement. Just in case. 
Uh, and if we have to end up using that, I'm certainly not going to be upset. You notice our balance, 1.1 million on the profit side, and we're back almost to $7 million. So that is huge for us in the long term. And when you take into account that this is certainly not the most efficient layout for uh, for our trains. I mean, we're, there's a lot of time uphill, and these trains right now just don't have the speed to really make the time that we would like. But I think that simply bodes well for the future for us. I really enjoy looking down here and seeing all of this cargo that needs to be taken. I mean, tons and tons of grain. Not real sure how it decides between grain and livestock uh, on how this works, but either way, we are making tons of money. And it looks like we are ready to do something with our Food One network uh, over here as well. So we've got plenty of opportunity for the future for expansions. Um, I believe we've got opportunities to come over here and run our trains in a route down through here. We'll have to see exactly how that works out. But I believe there's opportunity there to make a ton of money. And overall, this is very exciting for the future of our gameplay. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Transport Fever.